Okay, let's open up one of these bags and take a look at what we've got inside. So we've got a bunch of tubes here. We're going to resuspend all these oligos to 100 micromolar with just plain water. And the way we determine how much water to add uh, is based on the numbers that it provides on the side of the tube. So they've got a lot of numbers here, but the one we care about is the one that says here 25.6 Nm, which doesn't mean nanometers, which is what that does mean, but <laughs> should be a should be mole. It's uh, nanomoles, not nanomolars, nanomoles. Okay, so what we've got in this tube is 25.6 nanomole. And we want 100 micromolar. Okay? So, we need to do some math here. All right. So, if I have 25.6 E minus 9 moles, and I have X liters, and that needs to equal 100 E minus 6 moles per liter. Okay, so moles cancels on both sides. Um, this is wrong. Actually, no, it should not. Anyway, math. Uh, X then equals 25.6 E minus 9 divided by 100 E minus 6. Now you'll notice everything is tens except um, 25.6 so I know that the answer comes out to being 256 E minus 6 which is micro liters. Okay? So the quick answer to all this you don't really have to think through this math. Just take that number move the decimal point over one and you'll have the volume you need to get to 100 micromolar.